What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. How are Hello. we feeling? Wonderful. Wonderful on wonderful Wednesday? Yeah, I'm just counting down the hours, really, until it's time for vacation again. Oh, my gosh. You can't just enjoy the moment in this room with us? <laughs> no, I can. I certainly can. But I am I am thinking about my, my plane ride to the vineyard. Well, of course, you know, that's, that's lovely. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm excited. My thoughts are just like Love Island USA. And I know that I talked about it enough on Monday. So here's my my calling to our listeners. If you haven't started watching, watching, you should watch. Yeah, because we are going to be keeping up to date with it. I think a, a ton of people are watching right now that maybe have never watched. I got one. All I needed was one DM. I saw mm-hmm. one DM that was like, please talk about Love Island USA on all of the other episodes. And I was like, "That great. We got the go. We got yeah. the go ahead. I, I just, just needed one person to say it. Right. I just feel bad for the people who don't watch. Well, then they should watch. They, but then I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe you sometimes, should catch on. But it's just like, it's the same as sometimes we have episodes that are so Bravo dominated and some people don't watch Bravo. That is a very good so point. So this is, this is, this is what we're into right now. Love Island, Love, U- Island Love Island USA should be a universal experience for everybody at this moment. Yeah. Like if you're not on board, get on board because you're going to be missing out. So we'll get into that. We're going to I turned little- it on last night, by the way. Wait, you turn on episode 13? No, no, no. Like, no, oh, no. Start, no. Like, start from the beginning. But I was just like so thrown off by the whole musical number that. You just skip I, past I, that. I was just like, what is going no, you on? Just this had is to skip like, like La La Land. No, you just, you really just had, I think they just did that for Ariana. They're like, oh, Bro- Broadway star is now the host. Right. And we're going to do a whole musical number. You got- it was unnecessary. Yeah. Um, just Does that get- play at every episode? What? No. no. Oh, thank God. They don't even have an intro in the no, episode. It just goes right no, in. Yeah. Once you get past that, it just you just have the to get past The first episode is always tough for me. Like to get in. Like oh, all the God, introductions. I love the first episode. I'm kind of with no on that. I am like, you know what? I'll get to know you. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, like, I love I the first yeah. episode because that's how, that's how we know who everybody is. I know, but I'd rather You're just know everybody you by for like, the first time. seeing you interact, not being like, I'm I'm like quirky. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, need, I the you, intros honestly, are necessary. Just skip episodes one and two and start off at three. You'll learn them fast. Okay. I okay. I think that's for for you Noah. I think that's okay. Nothing yeah. happens in one and two that like, mm, matters. No, I I honestly think that you'll catch up pretty kind of. But also, like, clearly he's struggling for the beginning though. So if okay, to but make it, it sounds like he, him, it sounds like he watched. He said he didn't even get past the musical number. It sounds like he watched five minutes. No, yeah, I got I got to Ariana <clears throat> coming out and being and talking to the girls and then and then I like fell asleep. Yeah, so that's he's he, so he, he watched but, barely any of the. Well, episode. that's why I'm saying if he just wants to jump right into the action, then like skip skip episodes one yeah. and two and just go right to three. Yeah, I think play, I think you'll pick up on what's going on. They'll play a little recap. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think you'll pick up on what's going they, on. Like, the music pay- was good though. They, espresso started playing. I'm like, yeah, oh, no, they, 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 they do they, have they, the music. Yeah. The big bucks for yeah. espresso. That that's got to cost a lot right now. Yeah. They started. Uh, they started paying for music, and it honestly really is worth it. It makes a big difference. I think it. It totally does. It absolutely does. Um, we'll do a full Love Island USA episode thirteen recap yeah. later on in the show. Um, anything going on? Anything going on? Back in, in the life? office. Back in seeing what everybody's doing. Uh, they were uh, apparently. I don't know if I'm giving something away or not, but nobody really knew what was going on. So I really, I'll just say it anyway. But they were like, they ordered all these bananas mm. and they, they want Feidelberg to like sit in a pool of like banana peels. I don't know why or what for, but your fiance was like, do you know what's going on with, with Feidelberg and the bananas? And I was like, I have, I have no clue. I just saw, but they ordered all these of ba- bananas yeah, they and ordered I had all these bananas and they want people to eat the bananas. And then when they're done, put the put peel in into the pool. It must be a KFC radio thing. I, I know there's something going on there. I just thought that there was a, a lot of bananas that were for the office. Like that was my, right. I was well, like, wow. There are normally bananas. Yeah, there are. I was like, wow, that's but a lot of bananas. I think they ordered like, 1500 there bananas. was a ton of bananas <laughs> sitting there a how, lot of bananas like, how long does it take for a banana to go bad like we got a um, while <laughs> it dep- well it depends on how ripe they are right now you know yeah. like if they're ready to go right now they don't have much longer yeah. but if they're like green they have some time that's true but then when they get black we can make banana bread with them yeah for the office um yep question if you had to eat a hundred of something what do you think you could eat you have to eat a hundred of them. Oh, French fries. 
Oh, that's any. Yeah, that's French fries. Yeah. Is shrimp probably. cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Seriously, I'm thinking like bake. They don't even fill me up. Shrimp <laughs> cocktail. They don't fill me up. Little I could eat like oysters. Yeah. I could like, probably go oh, hundred oysters. oysters. You can do hundred oysters. oysters. That, that doesn't fill you up. Those Although, slide I don't right know in. though. Oysters just would be like, easier than shrimp. Just as far as like going, like how you're gonna feel afterwards. A hundred oysters could be tough. Really? Seafood I don't know. That's a wise. lot of seafood. That's yeah. a lot of. And it's a, it's just a lot of raw food, you know? Yeah. There's like, a difference when it's like cooked. Like a French fry, it's cooked. Like your it's stomach's a lot. gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna be but filling. like raw, I think can maybe blueberries. Shrimp. Co- we're talking big <laughs> shrimp. I mean, small not huge. Shrimp cocktail? Like a small shrimp cocktail. Like not normal jumbo size. shrimp cocktail. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Blueberries. Blue- like, I'm just thinking like oh, yeah, small. right. Little fruit, like little fruit thing. Yeah. How many French fries are in a large fry at McDonald's? If you had to take a guess right now, mm. I feel like it's. I feel like there's not a set number. You know, they just they just they just dump them into the. There has to be an estimate. I'll My s- guess would be like in the fifties. Eighty six. Wow. Would be the estimate. So that's close. So like that that's- seems too high. I don't think I feel like those, they don't the, fill those all the really, way up. Really, the fries are so skinny. I feel like eighty six. Yeah, I, I feel like it could true. make sense, but I guess, like you said, it varies. It's got to vary, right? But their their estimate is eighty six. So we just fries. Keep doing, how many okay. chips in a Chipotle bag? Well, then if you're if they're saying there's eighty six, then we just have to have one large fry and a, and a few extra, right? <laughs> there's actually not that much of a difference between a medium fry and a large fry. But a but a bigger difference between a small and a medium. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A medium and has a small is like nothing. A medium has seventy three. A yeah. small has forty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm, that's big jump. that's literally nothing. But um, cause yeah, I think a French fry is easy. That French fries are are easy. Potato chips, any kind of chip carrots. really. Pretzels. I couldn't do a hundred carrots. Really. It's a. It also depends. I eat I need, carrots I need skinny often. French fries, and I also need. Baby, carrot. baby, baby carrots. carrots. I eat carrots often. They're like baby carrots, but hundreds they're kind of chunky. Yeah, hundreds a lot. You know of what I mean? Carrots. And I don't think I think I probably have at most ten. I could that definitely you max out at ten carrots. I could I could go I could go fifty easily, but I think yeah. post fifty would be a lot. Yeah. And I would need ranch. Yeah, I like to dip mine in ranch. Yep. Or I, any kind of veggie dip. Mustard. I used to dip <laughs> my I used to dip mine in balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Do you do peanut butter? With apples. But not with carrots. I actually had peanut butter and apples butter this morning. With, not with carrots, no. I mean, you'll eat anything with carrots. Well, huh? I'm not going to eat the Oh, my God. You butter. fucking oh, no, love, also, you fucking you love carrots. Yet. I was going to say, no I'm afraid of the way I'm dressed anyway. right now. I look like a carrot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. <laughs> Dip me in mustard. Well, he said that. He serve said, me, yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Dip me in mustard. You serve me right up. All you need is a big thing of mustard. Is Matt wearing yellow today? Or if he was wearing green, you could just He's like, wearing green. Is he? Yeah. Oh, like, there you go. Oh, he could be the top yeah. of my carrot. <laughs> <laughs> just stand in front of him. Yeah, we look like a big carrot. Actually, you kind of do with the, the leaves behind you or the that plant Oh, that is you. true. The plant is sticking up right oh behind God. your head. I'm just, I'm just dip me right in ranch yeah. <laughs> and, and eat me up. Um, all right, let's get into the yeah. topics for and today. I literally, now I'm just thinking of like all, I, I, any kind of chip. I fucking you love know? chips. You like know? chips and salsa. Like, Endless amounts. I, it's you know unlimited. What, you know what my problem is? And I, I think a lot of people have this problem. That if I have something sweet, I need to follow it up with something salty. Mm, yeah. Like, I can't just have ice cream. Yeah. I then have to have a couple of chips in my mouth. Not not like a yeah, lot of chips. Yeah, I just yeah, need yeah, to yeah, pop something mix. salty in yeah. real quick. I don't have that problem at Really? All. I can just go. I always end with... I, oh, I'm... I can end with something sweet and then I'm good. That's yeah, it. It's just, it. And maybe it's like a, an at home thing. Like at, at dinner, of course, yeah. you end with the dessert and then I'm not like, oh my God, waiter, can I have a bag of chips? <laughs> right, right, right. But like at home, like, oh my God, my mouth just wants something salty now. Yeah. I'll just. I feel like a lot of people have that. No, 100%. They absolutely do. I'll I'll pop a couple of the, uh, this is my go-to now. It's just a couple of the true fruit. Love the dark true chocolate fruit. raspberry specifically. Oh, the, oh, the dark those chocolate are my raspberries I think are by far the best ones. The best. Uh, I take about three or four of those bad boys, mm-hmm. and that's that's a wrap for the evening. For right. Me. Those. That's a sweet treat. Yeah. I love those too. I have those uh-huh. stocked in my or I have the um, chocolate covered bananas. 
as well. Any type of cho- dark chocolate covered fruit. Dark chocolate, yeah. Is my favorite kind of sweet treat. Milk chocolate, weirdly, there's like a couple things, and I've talked to you, I've said this to you, like there's a couple things post having COVID that just don't hit the same. Mm. They just taste kind of different. And it's really only like milk chocolate is like not, like I used to always be milk chocolate over dark chocolate. Now like milk chocolate, I'm like, eh. Like I have an M&M and I'm like, I didn't even really enjoy that. Damn, that's I know. upsetting. I know. And then. I've always been dark chocolate over milk chocolate. Yeah. So I'm, I don't think no, I'd I be don't. too upset about it. I used it, to but... be like as a kid, I was like dark chocolate, yuck. There's, keep that, keep that well, away from me. They always say it's good for you, so I was like, oh, well, it's good right. for you. Right, there's some, there's just something about that bitter taste of dark chocolate yeah, that I've, I love. Yeah, I've, I've grown to like it, and I mean, granted, I liked dark, dark chocolate before I had COVID, but like post COVID, the milk chocolate just started to taste a little. And, and anything that's like artificially fruit flavored, but only certain flavors, like anything that's mango flavored. Oh, like I could, I could. It makes that me react. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's. So Terrible. upsetting. Like a mango flavored drink. Gosh, I fucking love mango. Disgusting to me. Terrible. Damn. It tastes like chemicals and like poison. That's so upsetting. I know. But other flavors. I'm so sorry I that know. happened to you. Other flavors, I'm good. That's good. Specifically so, so just mango. mango. So just fuck mango for yeah. you. Mango's out. <laughs> mango is just out. We know that our girl, Sabrina Carpenter, is going on tour and. You got to be ready to get tickets right now. You can look on game time for tickets to Sabrina Carpenter. I've been looking all over for tickets for Sabrina Carpenter. And that's right. Thanks to game time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy your tickets to the next big event or where you buy your tickets to the next big event. You should just know that game time has you covered. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guaranteed, which means that if you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. So what are you waiting for? I'm really trying to make it to a Sabrina Carpenter concert, and I'm, I think I'm going to do going to thanks to game time i just don't know which show i'm gonna get to but i'm gonna try and figure it out all thanks to game time take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code chicks for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms do apply download the game game time app today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed what are your top three fruits i also don't even really like (laughs) i don't like mango that much in the first place riveting um i actually it's I love kiwi. That is underrated. And I know. Yeah, I, I actually really don't like kiwi. Really underrated. I fucking love. I, I actually had. A kiwi. I actually had apples and peanut butter this morning and a kiwi. Um, I just love kiwis, I and like- I love strawberries, and I love pineapple, and I love apples. What about and um- I love blueberries. I love. I love fruit. Like I really, my my fridge is stocked with fruit because I can eat fruit at any time of the honeydew. day. It fulfills me. Yeah, love honeydew. I'm a I'm a berry gal through and through. Like blue, blue straw, raz. What about black? You had to abbreviate all of them. Well, they're all berries. <laughs> blue straw, raz. Berries. So you're just berries. Uh, but those, if I had to pick three that I could eat the most, mm-hmm. what about pineapple? No pineapple mm. for you. Fuck, I love pineapple. I, I know somebody really... who's allergic to pineapple, though, and that sucks. Not... Oh, what's the one? I don't Papaya? mind pineapple, but it's it's not my fave. I'd, I'd rather eat, like, cantaloupe or honeydew. Ah, oh, I love cantaloupe. I love all those. I don't think Papaya. there's melons. I gotta be honest. I don't melons, think there's watermelon. A... I oh. I love watermelon. I gotta be honest. I don't think there's a fruit that I don't like. Yeah. I'll eat. I'm gonna search least popular fruit. Yeah. I had papaya two days ago. These are the worst fruits ever. What are they? figs i like figs fig jam yeah excuse me i, I like figs but you know what i also love like especially in the summer a big juicy plum plums are fucking oh, delicious plums, are underrated. plums peaches yeah. grapefruits i love grapefruit yeah. no no i'm getting too past <laughs> like i really and love every fruit that exists no, no we're naming we're, every fruit we haven't got like we, we just haven't gotten into exotic so fruits. you know what I like pears. Pears are pears air. in like a salad, like I like a, a a pear salad, but I don't love pears alone. 
What's the Barney song with the, with the fruit in it? Apple, apples and bananas. I like to eight, 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 eight apple. apples and bananas. Is that, is that Barney? Is no, that I don't think it's Barney. I like to eat <laughs> fruit eat, salad, yummy, eat. yummy. Apples <laughs> and bananas. I don't know what you're saying. I've never heard. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the song I'm thinking of, but in my head, they say the words normally. <laughs> I always thought that they changed the way that they say the words. I don't know. I like to eat, eat, <laughs> eat apples and bananas. <laughs> Is that not it? I, I don't think they say it like that. <laughs> well, was that like a joke with like me and my siblings then? Like I thought that was just how they sang it. Yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to see. Gosh. Oh no, they totally do. I think. You got me riled up about fruit. I love fruit. I love fruits and vegetables. Like, you know, call me a loser. Wow, I never listened to this, oh, this version. Is a different this is like beat. a rock version. Where's Where's the original? I don't know. This says <laughs> apples and bananas with lyrics, kid songs by the by the learning station. Apples and bananas, a song by Super I Simple like Songs. Eight, eight. Oh yeah, they do say eight. Okay. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Wait, I'm sorry. We gotta get. I gotta fast cut this out. We gotta fast. Wow, the wait, hold part. on. You know they do. Okay, Barney's greatest hits. Oh, it's Barney. Barney's greatest hits. Apples and bananas. Wait a second. Wait. I like to. Okay, eat, I actually eat. think they sing this song on literally every kid show that exists. It's just Barney's version. Yeah, I BB. just have Barney. I just have specifically Barney's version in Barney's my mind. Apples and bananas, parentheses. BB. Yeah, Barney's re-releasing all his music. I just have spe yeah, specific. Um, Apple Music. No, just give me apples and bananas, Barney. I need to hear eight 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 apples and bananas. I think maybe that's Barney. Because I feel like this I'm is going the actual crazy. clip from the show. <laughs> yes, this is it. This is Barn. Yes, you were right. Yes, it's Barney. Eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yes, it's just another part of the oh, song. Uh, thank God. Okay, thank God. It's Barney. Thank God. That's what I was saying. Okay, it's Barney, and thank God that they do say that, or else I would have yes. my brain would have been in a blender of how I came up with eight. But eight, it really eight, does eight, seem like that song is recycled for all the other kids because it was like apples and bananas, cocoa melon, apples and bananas. Cocoa <laughs> melon's been ripping people off for yes. years. Cocoa melon's just taking all of our yeah. original kid shows and making things right. into their own right now right, for their right. own cocoa melon. -ness. Right, I was. I, I guess I didn't realize that the kids' show stuff really gets re recycled. They do like have that. to repurpose it, mm -hmm. you know, for the, uh, you know, as things grow and we get older and new kids. But they come, still have to teach the kids to eat their they, apples they, and bananas. They have to evolve, and I'm still eating my apples and bananas. Yeah, yep. Mainly every day. <laughs> Good for you. You know what I mean? Like an apple a day, they say. Right. It's just like fuck yeah, like. Give yeah. me, give me the fucking apples and bananas, <laughs> the apples and bananas. Eight, uh, eight, 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 eight apples and bananas. Okay, <laughs> it's another dinosaur saying that. And I don't know which one it is. Not Barney. Girl, it's not Barney. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's Barney's up. there, but it's a different, different. Anyway, moving on. What was your favorite show as a kid? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Now that now you got me here, I wasn't gonna ask, and it just came out. Mine was Rugrats. That's a good one. Like what? What age? That is a good here? one. Like yeah, when I was I going, really, like really, like really young? young. Like you know, no, I'm not talking like middle school, and we, we, you know, we talk about that, but like really, really young Rugrats. Rocket Power. Um, I watched. I really liked like there was um the Disney ones. That when I was like really little. Zaboomafu I loved. What about the one that was a fucking uh roly polioli? Roly polioli, yep, that was a good one. Or the uh uh the otters. Yes. What was that? The three otters? 
they were siblings. They had the slide that went down into their kitchen. Did you ever watch Oswald? Yeah. The slide that I, I had reoccurring dreams where I had a slide from my bedroom to my kitchen because of that show. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. It is really you just cool. just like wake up and take a slide and end up at your kitchen table. Mm-hmm. Um, big comfy couch. Big comfy couch. Out of the box. Oh, I loved out of the box too. Um, who just posted it recently? I had like a visceral reaction. I think it was Sam, Bravo historian. She like posted a story about out of the box. And I was like, oh my God, out of the box. Out, out of, of the, the box. box. I loved Out of the Box. That was that a was fantastic a- show. You know what? Those shows were so fucking good. I'd watch them They today. were so good. It was the coolest thing ever. They put the cardboard yep. boxes. Mm-hmm. They crawl in. It was a whole. It was a whole other world. Yeah. I always wanted that. Yep. Making forts and stuff. Yep. And yeah. It doesn't turn into a whole new world. No. Not at all. Nope. But those were. And now these kids, they got Coco Melon and Miss Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. And and what's the one Luca watches? Senor Bob. Senor Bob. <laughs> And they got Bluey. Bluey. Bluey's the big one, right? Yeah, Bluey's big. I haven't watched any Bluey. Not that I, I haven't you know. really. I haven't really watched any. My little cousin was watching Bluey the other day. Really little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know much, though. I'm sure I will learn as Luca gets older, though. Right. Well, is Bluey just like... A, 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 like Blue's Clues? Like, it's just like... Yeah, because Bluey is a girl. Right. Bluey's a dog? No. Yes. 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 So it's, it's it's a copycat of Blue's Clues. Because right? Blue Bluey from yep. Blue's Clues was also, was also a, dog a girl and also a girl. Yep. So yeah, they're just ri- yeah. they're just out here ripping everything off these right. days. Shout out Magenta. Oh my God! What? Nah, gosh, I just feel like I have a big hug around me right now. Thinking of these shows. I know. I know. They were really the um. I did really like the PBS shows i think zaboo mafu was was mm. pbs like kids pbs kids yeah uh god i mean i bet you could go through like the list of pbs kids shows in the late 90s i don't remember that one that you're talking about of what zaboo Zib- mafu yeah oh zaboo mafu was a great one shows it yep 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 here's a whole graph of them Oh, Between the Lions, I loved. Franklin. Hey, hey Fra- it's Franklin. Yeah. Clifford. Clifford, yeah. Yep. Zaboomafu was a big one for me. Bill Nye, the science did guy. Did you guys like Hey Arnold or no? I, I did. I loved Hey Arnold, but those were like, I, really I was like that. older. Yeah. Was, yeah. Older. I'm I, thinking like, I'm thinking when I was, well, I'm thinking older. what I was watching when I was like, Seven, yeah, right? You're older Late. than us. Younger. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm one year older than you, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Only one Grandma. year? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah. I'm September '94. He's October '95. So. Yeah. A year and a month. Mm. Wow, your big thirties coming up, Noah. Oh my God, did you watch JJ the Jet Plane? <laughs> no, I don't remember JJ, that one. JJ, yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm looking at this. This is like a graphic of. Uh, of different ones all put together. Zaboomafu was such a good one. Big Comfy Couch, also such a good one. Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus, though, reminds me of school. Like, I only watched Magic School Bus at school. Yeah. There was one other one on PBS that was also, like, educational kind of thing that I that was also really good. But now I forget what it was. Tell I was a big Teletubbies gal as well when I was really little. Yeah. Teletubbies was big. Yep. Damn, I just feel like I I feel like I'm laying on a couch with a big blanket on right now, thinking of all these shows. Say hello. I said I I actually don't think I remember the Teletubbies that well. I remember Teletubbies, but not like anything about what they do or what they say. They they don't do much. (laughs) It's it's believe me. I actually saw a clip of Teletubbies like not that long ago, and I was like, who? was dropping acid when they made this show. <laughs> like it's such a it's a weird they don't talk. Right. They don't they don't speak. A lot of the kids shows you think like And there's a baby that the, the, sun. the, the sun is yeah, a baby. Yeah, I do remember and that. And then it had their like their little pet was like a a vacuum but it, would, it had like a the nose that would suck things up. Right. Wait, wasn't yeah. there like recent news about like the sun baby or something like him now and it's just insane to see. 
Um, I I don't might... I don't know if I remember that, but also like, are we that shocked? Oh, the Sun Baby had a well, sun... a daughter. That was a day ago. Oh, oh, congratulations! To the congratulations sun baby. to the Sun Baby, oh, who's, a, who's a grown ass adult now, which March. would make sense. Yeah, it was in March. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Imagine your baby watching you as a baby. As a baby, in the sun. yeah, that yeah. is cool. Yeah, wow, that's weird to think Full about, circle. but it is cool. Literally, sun yeah. circle. One more show I would like to mention, an honorable mention, a little bit older, but I also think someone dropped acid when they made the show. Lazy Town. <sighs> I hated Lazy Town. I one granted one. I was too old. I was like not. Yeah. Like. Lazy Town was not my age group, but my younger cousins would l- watch Lazy Town, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I loved Lazy Town, but thinking back on it, like I, it scared me as well. He was freaky, that guy. All, all of what them. What was his name? The one with the mustache. Yeah, they, he had the crazy <laughs> eyebrows. All yes. of them were were kind of weird. Yes, Lazy Town was freaky. What was that show on? Nickelodeon. I'm pretty sure. No, Disney. Why am I blanking? 2004. Lazy Town was Nickelodeon, right? <laughs> yeah, Sporticus. Robbie Rotten. This, oh, he didn't have a mustache, but he had the... Yeah, oh! Yes, oh my God, Nick I don't Jr. even like looking at him now. Oh, he does kind of have Stephanie, a mustache. Stephanie, Sporticus, Robbie Rotten. Oh, there was two Stephanie. Ziggy. Yeah. Oh my God, this show was a fucking trip. It was. This show was a trip. Was for sure. Oh my God. Robbie, he was scary. His eyebrows. Yeah, I don't Fuck, like that. That at was all. that was a trippy it's a show. Image. I, imagine like taking shrooms now or smoking and watching Lazy Town. I feel like I would be freak out. Freak out. One hundred. A lot of those out. kid shows. If you were to like get high and watch, you would probably lose your yeah, mind. Yes. Yes. Completely. Maybe that's why, um, you know, drugs make you feel childlike. You know, <laughs> the, it could be it opens up the brain. It and could you be forget the world. Childlike wonder. Exactly. Um, all right, let's get into the rest of the show. We got some topics we got to cover. Love Island USA episode thirteen recap. We're gonna get right into that. We got to talk about it. We were waiting all night. Did Rob stay? Did he go? We'll talk about that. Yep. Jamie Lou Curtis and Lindsay Lohan reunite for Freaky Friday two, as well as others who joined Freaky Friday two. Travis Kelsey went on Bussin' with the Boys. Shout out, Shout out the Boys. Shout out Bussin' with the Boys. Close Podcast. Yes, no big deal. We went to dinner with Will Compton last yeah. week. <laughs> um, and Julie Chrisley, her prison sentence was overturned. So we'll talk about that. You know, Chrisley knows best yeah. or do they not? Britney Spears' lawyer is not working with her anymore. And the NHL had a little messy post with some Bachelor alum that we will be talking about. So let's get into it. You guys don't have to be selling out stadiums to feel like you're chilling backstage. You just need Coors Light. Coors Light wants to make your summer more chill with limited edition backstage six packs curated by some of your favorite artists. Because music plus Coors Light equals chill amplified. When you embrace a chill mindset, it's a good time to choose chill and crack open a Coors Light. Coors Light is mountain cold refreshment, crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. I got a nice ice cold Coors Light in my hand right now. You can see these are the music edition uh, cans, which are so cool. Love these for the summer. If you're going to concerts, Coors Light. If you are listening to music, Coors Light. If you're going to the beach, you got the speaker going, you got the whole group going, Coors Light. So amplify your chill this summer with Coors Light. Choose chill, choose Coors Light. Visit CoorsLight.com slash summer music to see how Coors Light can amplify your summer and be sure to keep an eye out on Coors Light's social handles and Coors Light backstage six pack.com all summer long for the drops. And always guys, celebrate responsibly from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Love Island USA episode 13 premiered Monday night, 20 minutes early. 20 minutes early. If anybody caught that, it was on at 8.40, not 9 p.m. There you go. Apparently, that's something they do every night. Oh. Apparently, the episodes are always out early. It's always and everyone early. just thinks it's at 9 p.m., right. but it's actually a little bit earlier. Maybe Peacock just wants to give them a little buffer in case they have any issues. Right, you know? because everyone's clicking play at the same mm-hmm. time. More in my eyes, we're all joining together to watch at the same time. I do wish it was an hour earlier. I feel like 8 p.m. Mm. would be just a bit better. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. Like, 8 p.m. is like, you, you've gotten... For the most part, like, yeah, I would like to think, you know, you're settled. They want to go a little later because, you know, it's a little raunchier. 
That is true. They, they want to be late night they, TV. And um, curse words, you know, they're flying. That's true. It is not, streaming, so I feel like yeah, it doesn't really it doesn't matter. Really it's matter. Like it's cable TV, but maybe it still does. I don't know. Selfishly, I just wish it was it was 8 p.m. Just yeah. because I wanted to come out sooner, just yeah. because I am antsy and need to know what happened. So on, on Monday's episode, we were talking about whether or not Messi Rob would stay or would he go. And it turns out he stayed. Not a big shocker because... I'll be buying the pickle sandwiches. Yes, and I can't wait yeah. for those pickle sandwiches. <laughs> I can't freaking wait. Oceanside, here we come. Yep. Um, I'm not surprised by this. Not at all. He... <laughs> not at all. I don't even know why that man pretended. First of all, he didn't even step near his suitcase. No. Like He didn't even... As, as theatrical and dramatic as Rob is, he didn't even fake look at his suitcase he just had to have his moment up there with his you know now you send three people home and what the and, fuck y'all and really got really got i felt bad for andrea because i i think she like nicole said i feel like she totally thought he was gonna leave mm -hmm. with her especially after his big declaration and then just he 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 is our toxic king because he, the way he spun him staying to Andrea, even when Andrea was like selfishly like, I really wish you would come with me, but like, I'm not going to make you come, but like, I'm not going to make you leave. Like, I don't want to take that opportunity from you. Cause he was like, well, if, if you like, if you really asked me to leave, I will. She did. She asked you to leave. D don't act like she didn't. She asked you to leave. She said, I want nothing more than for you to come. So she, she was begging practically. So. She was crying her eyes out, which first of all, they've known each other for four days. Yeah. The way that these two acted about being split up, like when she, when, when Andrea said like, I never thought I'd be able to feel this way about someone. It's four. It's been four days, yeah. you know, like, I get it. Like you found a connection and, and it was clear that they were connecting with each other or at least Andrea was connecting with right. Rob. But four I mean, days. Look, the whole logic from the girls, like they are looking at this show in a whole different way than than my immediate thought. Like I, not saying I don't get where they're coming from. I get it. But it's not my first interpretation of the show. Mm -hmm. Like- Yes, you are there to meet new people. You are there to talk. You are there to test connections. But the end goal is to find a connection. It's not like, oh, stay open the whole time and date around and do that, which is kind of how it felt like they were measuring each relationship. It was like, oh, well, they have a connection. So like they should like that's it's it. That's it. It's like, well, wait, what? Isn't finding a connection and sticking to it like kind of the point that you get to that point? Totally um, agree. That's what I thought was the point of the show. Right, like, then I thought like, well, Nicole, you know, she's testing the water. Like their whole logic of like, well, everyone needs, maybe because it's still so early in, their sh in the show, they're like, everybody needs to be, you know, have their options open and all those things. But let me tell you something. They would not have this logic. They would have gone with the logic that I'm saying if it was... Kayla and Aaron up there. Yeah. They wouldn't have been like, oh, we're going to send, we're going to send Kayla home because she and Aaron, you know, they found each other and now it's over. So it's, so she can just leave. No, they would, they would have never done that. They would be saying, oh my God, they have the strongest connection. We need to keep them. Yes. Their logic makes no sense. If yeah. you want to just say, they should just straight up say, Jenna is our girl. She's staying. Yeah. I would respect that way more. Right. Just be honest about it because that really is what it is. That, Aaron's the only one that's like, we get it. It's, it's he was like, what is it going to be? Like a popularity contest. It's like, yeah, it is. Yeah. So that, I, like it kind of is right now. Just say Jenna's your girl. Happens. You want her to find love. That's why you picked her. Yeah. You cannot use the reasoning of you're supposed to stay open. No, you're actually like, the point yeah. is to find connection and see it through. Yeah. Like every other season, Molly Mae and Tommy, they had their connection. They stayed together the whole time. Yeah. Like not saying it, that there can be tests and other people coming in, but that's the, like you have your solid connection. You're not just supposed to be free willy. The, until the end, not having a single legitimate thing the whole time. Right. Until the end. Then it's like, what? Right. right. It's like, like, it's like, Oh, so is Janae just supposed to like go on dates and flirt? and have fun and not have anything become serious and that's going to get her to the end that's not going to get her to the end yeah it's their their logic there was was backwards it was solely, and I, they just and were I, trying to justify 
sending Andrea home. You know, yeah. that was it. They were they were clearly just trying to backtrack. And I feel yep. like if they would have just said Janae was their best friend, then everyone would be like, okay, fine. It's not like Aaron said. He's like, it's not Friendship Island. But I think that making friendships is important as well. It's very clear that they just really don't like Andrea. I think that maybe she didn't make any... Right connections with the girls there, and I think they. Took Taylor was it. the only one who was like, "I loved Andrea." Andrea yeah, the only one that said that. Right, and I think they like took that out on her, um, because any other couple that was in that position, they would not have split them up. We all knew what was going to happen by Rob staying. Clearly, he, he clearly he was going to have a talk with Leah as soon as possible. Like, Le- also, Wait, can we go? Can we go back to him just being like sitting on the couch with Andrea and being like, "I just think." That like I can like you're not here, but you know I'm still thinking of you. Like I'm still testing our connection while I'm in here, and so it's really still a good test for us. Where if I l- come out of this and like I still want to be with you, like I was tested in here. <laughs> I was like, this is one hell of a spin, my guy. It was it was incredible to see his mind yeah. at work. Yep, and I feel like. If he really, really liked her as much as he said he did, he'd just leave. Anybody would just be like, oh my God, I can't wait. I can't see you go. I have to leave with you. And then everyone would have respected Rob yeah. and been like, wow, they really did fucking like each other. They're out of here. Right. But, it's, but he's not going to. This is also the thing. He, especially with him, he was on the show already and his time was cut super short. So he knows. Like, he's already like, I'm not here. I'm not doing this again to spend a week here and go home. Mm-hmm. Like, He's gonna like he's like I want to do be on Love Island so I can be on the show. They all want to be on the show, of course. So like, that's another thing. It's like oh you know I'm, I don't want to waste. If I look back at the opportunity and think oh I left too early, he was always staying. Yeah, he he clearly wants to get his time in on the island, and it was so obvious. Like Leah has been Leah bad. Le- transparent, so Ooh. transparent. She's it's, she, it's why are you faking it? Leah has been bad mouthing Rob the entire time, like making fun of him for crying. His he's dramatic. I just want him making, to be happy. Making fun of him the entire time, and then as soon as Andrea walked out the door, her, she's talking to Rob again, smiling, sm- oh. and looking in his eyes. It's very clear that she's gonna now. Try and leave Connor to be back with Rob. And I am hoping this is the situation that happens. Number one, I think that this new bombshell that's coming in that's eyeing for Rob, he's obviously going to be into. Like, he, yeah. it's going to take him two seconds to be into this bombshell. What I think would be master television, just A-plus television, dramatic-wise, would be if Rob either pairs up with Leah or this new bombshell or whatever, specifically Leah, and then Casa Moore comes and they bring Andrea back and Casa Moore and then he leaves Leah again for Andrea. Like, yeah. that would just be... And he comes walking down the stairs with Andrea and Leah's face. Like, that is television. If you were writing a script for this show, yep. that would be the script. Now, who's to say that's to happen? I don't know if Andrea is going to be coming back. Casa Moore, honest, everyone's she, like talking about that. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that will happen. And she could be gone. And also, like, Leah might think she has a clear path now and he just picks another bombshell over oh, her he just and picks just, this new blonde because i mean truly it was such a like like me think the lady doth protest too much like mm-hmm. the way she jumped down everyone's throats when the idea of like connor's like oh you know they people were saying maybe you sent andrea home for these reasons blah 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 why would i do that i wouldn't do that blah, 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 blah. like getting so like animated about it and then immediately going to Rob. It's like, you're, we see you. We see the moves you're making. It was so obvious. I just want him to be happy. You don't want it. No. I just want him to be. If you wanted him to be happy, you would have kept the girl he really liked. Right. That's exactly it. You would not you be want sending him to be happy. Gr- you want him to be happy with you. <laughs> exactly. That's it. You just want him to like you. Yes. And let me tell you something. She He's never going to stick to Leah. No, she turned into an entirely different little bubbly, flirty person talking to him again. Oh, what are you thinking? Oh, what are you thinking? No, you tell me. Oh, no, you tell me. The way they were looking at each other again, I was like, oh, my God, they're going to make out. I really thought they were going to start kissing in that moment. I was like, I was floored. I just, she comes across as mean. She does. Like, a lot of times when she's making fun of everybody. Yeah. And listen. 
I, I think I, not, I think Rob stinks. I think we've yeah, made yeah, that yeah. very clear, and he deserves to get shit on. But I don't love her energy. I think she's just kind of mean. Yeah, I think she's fucking with Connor. Yeah, which and like yes, like. I don't know. Everyone fucks with each other, right? Like Connor was totally fucking with Janae and and it's like the same kind of thing. But I think when you feel like the person, like Connor really likes Leah, but now she's fucking with him because she actually really likes Rob, you know, Mm -hmm. everybody is playing a different game so that they can stay in. And I just don't like, like, just be honest, you know, it's tougher when it's, the little sni- like comments. I feel like she's just like kind of starting to make fun of Connor. Yeah. Which isn't that nice. No, and, and she and like I said on Monday, she was upset when Rob said they didn't have sexual yeah. chemistry and now she's making fu- fun of Connor. Like and it's Connor like- didn't Connor, yes, probably paired up with Janae for ulterior motives, like, you know, wanting to stay on the show, whatever. But he has not really bad mouthed Janae at all. Mm mm. But she's bad mouthing Connor. Yeah, and you know what? I thought that Janae and Connor really liked each other. So if I, know, I was Janae, I, I would also be upset. Uh, yeah, for sure. Now Kendall, he's found himself in a in a tough spot because Nicole kissed Miguel, and she's clearly into Miguel. Yeah. And now Kendall's like, I'm not wasting my time anymore on this girl. And I gotta be honest, I kind of agree because I think Nicole's gonna go for Miguel. Like I think they like to yeah, keep their I options think Kendall, open. I think that's such a the guys. On Love Island, the guys are such hypocrites. I really do think that. Mm-hmm. Like, because when it's their turn, when a new bombshell comes in, they expect their girl to be like, oh, no, yeah, go get to know her. Go talk to her, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, because the guy's like, oh, you know, we're not closed yet. I want to explore our connections. But when the girl does it, the guy's like, oh, that that's my girl. She's already talking to somebody else. Like, I'm done. Right. And I think that they all, I think they all act that way, though. I I honestly think no matter what, for the guy or the girl on Love Island, whenever the person they're coupled up with goes and kisses somebody else, yeah, the, it's it's downhill from there. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it happens. I guess it, majority of the time where it's like it is also bo- different when both of ki- them when there's kissing. Both of them are. It's not easy to get over, right? Like you know, it happened the with Leanne Rob. The it kissing happened, changes. Yeah, it, it's like sure. oh, they kiss, yeah. like, and then immediately you start talking. feeling weird. It's yeah. like. Well, you know, it's it's hard for them to just like bounce back into yeah, yeah, it. I yeah. feel like I feel like yeah. that keeps happening. But you know, you also never know because sometimes you ha- if they even need to like test that physical connection, they could kiss. It could be an awful kiss. Yeah, they could be like, oh, you know, didn't like they could that. Be like that was terrible. I didn't right. like that at all. That rarely that rarely happens. They but. usually are like <laughs> not their socks are blown off. They're like, oh yeah. my god, that was the best yeah. kiss I've had yeah. in here. I mean, Miguel's a smooth guy. Yeah, he is smooth for sure. So totally different energies coming from Kendall and Miguel. Yeah. 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 Miguel's like a smooth operator. Yeah. Kendall's like a little bit more Kendall's anxious. Kendall's just like a little corny to me. That's, yeah. you know, and I, that's, that's mm-hmm. not a knock on him. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Kendall's just like a little corny and Miguel's yeah. like fuck boy. Right, right, right. He's yeah. smooth. Yeah. He's a smooth operator for sure. Yeah. But either way, can't wait for the next episode. Like, yeah, what, new bombshells like, coming in. I'm literally like tapping away. Like, I, I'm like, I'm like an addict. Like, I'm just like, give me more. Give yeah. me more. What you know, like it's all. Uh, I in, love it because I I don't think you've bought into a show like this in a while. Well, I usually buy into reality TV when it yeah, comes. Yeah, but not at this. Not at this. You enjoy it, but you're 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 all in. I feel like I get pretty all in on a lot of reality TV shows. You said this might be the best reality show ever. Show ever. Oh, no, I, I season, season one of, of the best. I said I didn't say the best. I said one of the best seasons of reality TV. Mm-hmm. That's not saying the best. What else it's would just be like, up there with that though? Love like, Island UK season five. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, this season, Batch, of Summer pa- House, Pilot Pete, <laughs> Pilot Pete season, uh, Hannah Brown season of The Bachelor. Yeah, this season Bachelor. of Summer House, Vanderpump Rules season eleven. Yeah. Really, I, I like. I, I fucking love reality TV. No, no, you <laughs> love reality TV and you watch. I'm just saying it. It. It's. I was just saying it's been a while since you've been like I'm. I'm dying for a new episode. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I agree with that because oh, I think really? all. I think all season of Summer House. I was like, I can't like. I think I was like, oh my god, I need to watch Summer House mm. and all week, every week. Yeah, yeah. But not to this level. But- yeah, well, this is because it's every night. You know yeah, what I mean? True. Like, yeah, right, if true. it was it's week to week, it's, it's a different format. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. give me something every single night, I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I can't wait till 9 p.m. Yeah, tonight, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. If it was spread out week to week, it would be a little bit less. Right, of a, it's a, it's, give it to it's, me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. 
every night. I know. People are like, it's too much every night. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I got time. Yeah, I don't think it's too much. I got time. I don't, I don't, I do kind of wish like they would just put it all out, but they can't because they're filming right now. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, give me 40 episodes at once and yeah, let me yeah. watch at my pace. Right. Which well, would be you, two days. I mean, you could, <laughs> yeah. you could do it. You just don't watch it all when it's live, you know? Right. It's just, it's too, it's too damn good. Yeah, it's it too is. too damn good right now. It is. I, I, I wish they didn't skip Wednesdays. <sighs> Why do they skip Wednesdays? Just I don't know. They break. do like one day I just remember off. that. Yeah. What do the like people do on that day? Do you know? Like, like, do they just hang out? They don't, they're not filming? No, they're, I mean, they're totally still filming. Oh, they just put it into an. Also, I want to throw. Sorry, yeah. my mind just went back. I also want to throw in traitors this past season of traitors. Cue yep. <laughs> the Joe Mantonello remix. Traitors. Yeah. Traitors. 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 I love traitors. 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 Are you kidding me? Traitors. Traitors. Love Alan Cumming. Traitors. I love traitors. It's officially summertime, which means it's the perfect time to whip out that bottle of Rum Haven. Rum Haven is made with real coconut water and no artificial flavors because Rum Haven believes Mother Nature does it best, and that is true. Right now, it's the perfect time to break out a bottle of Rum Haven, make yourself a little rum punch. You can drink Rum Haven straight, or you can mix it with a nice little juice to make a little drink for yourself. Rum Haven is the perfect, perfect little rum to mix with a little juice for your summer cocktail, your summer drink, all made with real coconut water. It's delicious. It's clean and it's refreshing. And you can enjoy Rum Rum Haven over ice, like I said, or you can mix it up, which I'm going to be doing all summer long. You can find out where to pick up a bottle of Rum Haven for your for yourself by visiting rumhaven.com. So if you want a chance to taste that delicious rum made with real coconut water, go to rumhaven.com and see where you can pick yourself up a bottle. All right, moving on. Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan reunite for Freaky Friday 2. Freaky Friday 2 is in the works. Chad Michael Murray's coming back for Freaky Friday 2. Yes. A couple other new cast members for Freaky Friday 2. Why not? That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Why not? Which, I don't know. So we, it's like a favorites game, right? Like when it comes to should something have a, a reboot or a sequel or not. Mm-hmm. Like some things, it's just like, the, you know, you don't need to do it. And some, it's like, okay, sure. Like we were pretty adamant against Mean Girls. Yeah, I because I don't think me like Freaky Friday to me isn't something I was so obsessed with that I don't want to be touched. Yeah, I love Freaky Friday, but not in the way that I think Mean Girls is like. Right, right, right. St- I think Mean Girls is just like it's untouchable. a different cultural impact, right? And I think Freaky Friday was just a great movie. I loved Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday was my identity for like a, a, a big portion of my when it came out. I was probably ten ish. Are you nervous about Lindsay Lohan's acting ability? Because I no. am. Oh. Like no, I'm really not. Because I don't think like she's 2003. So yeah, I was nine, ten. That makes sense. I was da- I was doing a. The music too was just so good. What's, I love what's the those name of the songs. band? This this was a trivia question years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck. I just saw it too because they're coming back for the sequel. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. I just know the, the song. Um, I wanna grow up. I know. I You're it. You're the ultimate you. It's a, there's a color in it. Pink? I know it's pink. The pink. The pink. It's not going to come to the me. The pink what? Slip. The pink, slip. pink slip. The pink, pink slip. slip. Detention. Yeah. Oh, right. You know? Classic. Because the they're, the ba- they're the bad kids in school. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Yep, the pink slip. Good I'm, band name. I'm only nervous about... Lindsay Lohan's acting ability because I think Lindsay Lohan was a fantastic yeah. actress. Recently, not so much. Well, see, this is my thing. I don't, like, I I watched The Irish Wish. I don't think she was necessarily bad in it. I found her to be kind of charming in it. The movie itself was terrible. Like, just the premise, like, the idea, the script was bad. She just needs, like, 
There needs a good script. You know, she need she, she's acting with Jamie Lee Curtis again. You know, like she needs right. good co-stars. She needs true. all like like, it's like the, playing with good players on a team. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah. She like needs, she yeah. was. She needs the morale. The Irish, the Irish wish she was the best player on a horrible team, like a generation long awful and so franchise. And really mailed it in a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah, because then Freaky Friday the, too, it's like, okay, you're back, you're playing a character you know, it's all like actors, you, like you're with Jamie Lee Curtis who is amazing, you're kind of, it's a familiar, I think, I think it's going to be, I'm, I'm not as worried about her, I just hope like, you know, they have a good idea for it. I think I think I'm just basing it off of that other movie that she did before Irish Wish that I thought was god awful. Wait, the, the Christmas, the one? Christmas, Christmas movie? one oh, yeah. that I thought I, 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 I thought was just was minutes. awful. But I have faith because Lindsay Lohan, Once Upon a Time, was just Is a it phenomenal the same actress. Um, From the original Freaky Friday? Yeah. That's a good question. It all well, I can tell you. Mark Waters? Since then, fans have gotten a no. handful of new details, including the direct... Oh, no, it's not. Jamie Lee Curtis and Lohan will prize their roles. Additionally, original cast members, Mark Hammond, Chad Michael Murray, Christina Vidal Mitchell, Haley Hudson, Lucille Songs, Stephen Dubois... Dubois... Dubois, I'm just saying that wrong. Tobolowski, probably. And Rosalind Chow will be back in the sequel. Oh! Our girl from Never Have I Ever is going to be in this? Yeah. I was I was waiting to drop that bomb. I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. I was very excited this morning. Wow. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I need her in something new. Love that. I think I'm going to rewatch Never Have I Ever soon. It's a great show. Great show. Oh, d um, the director directed a few episodes of Welcome to Chippendales. Oh, <laughs> you you enjoyed that? That show. was a good show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think I might have been the only one in the world who watched it. But yeah, she's also directed female-led films such as The High Note, starring Dakota Johnson and Trey Sales Ross, as well as Late Night, starring Mindy Kaling and Emma mm. Thompson. Hmm. So, at this moment, plot details are being kept under wraps. But in April 2024, Entertainment Weekly reported that the plot would revolve around Lohan and Curtis's character switching bodies with two. Teenage girls. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. Yep. So they just started filming, which is so exciting. Back in their trailers and everything. And it's set to be released uh, hopefully in 2025. Do you think Fuck yeah. have Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis, like, do you think they're friends? Like, have they talked since yes. the last, all, like, they're yeah. like, good friends? All I had to do was see them a picture, uh, see a picture of them holding hands, and I'm sold. I like that. They I mean, I don't know if they were, like, besties. Mother. People's yeah, I, I don't know if they were besties all the time, but I think they definitely stayed in touch. Yeah. And, ja and, and Jamie Lee Curtis has said that before. They must It must bring back such fun memories, yeah. you know? And this movie is going to be out in theaters, despite previous reports that it would be a Disney Plus original. Fuck yeah. I'm going to the theater. Honestly, the way like I got, I just, Chad Michael Murray coming back to do it too, I was like, okay, see, this is what happens with the the remakes too it's like certain people only want to do it and then they're missing giant characters that you're like okay how are you gonna make make a remake and not have this person mm -hmm. in it like you want everybody to be in it so i love that like everybody's buying back into it right it's like is Lindsay lohan's character going to be with chad michael murray i guess we'll find out right right i'm, I'm happy for chad mm -hmm. i'm happy for chad to get that it's spot. the ultimate cast yeah yeah <laughs> I, I mean, quite, I already talked about the song, so I feel like that one didn't zing as hard. I don't hard. quite get it. <laughs> the, the you're song from it. You're the oh, ultimate, the name, the you. name of it is yeah, the, the ultimate. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, now I get it. Great guitar solo. I don't remember the song. I only remember well. the um, well. I remember that one, but the one I remember the most is the rumors. I wanna grow up. I wanna get out. Hey. Take me away. Rumors I was Lindsay Lohan's out, album, oh, oh, oh. and I it was her first album, and I got that uh, when I was seven years old for Christmas. Do you know it's what it's called? I was fucking pumped. The album. Rumors. No, no, the album's not called Rumors. Speak. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to get so aggressive when I said rumors. That because that's that's the song she they play during the um the competition. In the movie. In the movie. Uh, and then the ultimate is what they play at the wedding at the end. Yeah. 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 
Great film. Great, great, Wait, great. is the fortune cookie lady going to be in it? Yes. Oh. They're bringing everybody back. Wow. I saw you that. Yeah. The big cast. It's, yeah. Everybody's back. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, moving on, Travis Kelsey was on Bustin' with the Boys. Shout out Bustin' with the Boys, Barstool Podcast, Will Compton, Taylor Lewan. They got the big interview with Travis. Yep. We spent some good quality time with Will with Will Compton yes, last we week. Yes, we did. We went to dinner on Monday in Chicago, and Will joined the dinner, and it was quite lovely. We had a fantastic yes. time, and we talked about that dinner. We had, a, we had a great time at that dinner, and... Now Travis went on bussing, and he um, a lot of headlines are coming from this, of course. Yep. A couple of things. He talked about his three favorite Taylor Swift songs. One, cool. Blank Space. Two, Cruel Summer. Three, So High School. Yep. So those, those were solid picks from him. He said Great Blank picks. Space was the one, you know, for, first one he heard. Or one of the first. And, and honestly, Blank Space should be on everybody's top list. It blank is Space song. is just one of the top. And then he also talked about the Kylie Kelsey situation. Um, how... If you don't remember that a couple of weeks ago, Kylie Kelsey got into an argument with another lady who was trying to force Jason and, and Kylie to take a picture with her or her kid. And Kylie said to her, you're I could smell the alcohol in your breath. You're embarrassing yourself, which was an all time video. Yeah. And Travis talked about this and said, like, the the woman was acting extremely entitled and was like, you will take a picture with my kid yeah. right now. Like, you have to take a picture with my kid, which is just not the way to go about those things. No, it's not. He was like, they're just trying to enjoy a night out. They're in, they're down the shore. Like, it's such a family environment. Like, they're just trying to be, like, out with, you know, mm -hmm. enjoy a night out. Um, but it was a great interview. It was cute. I, I listened to the, I listened to the whole thing. And <laughs> it is funny because, oh, I wanted to say, not to toot our horn a little bit, but we... I had a little inside scoop that this interview was happening mm -hmm. and we d I, I did suggest tearing Taylor Swift songs to Will so Ooh. so technically you interviewed Travis yeah so <laughs> technically it was you well because he's done it before and like when he did the um, big Kelsey fest mm -hmm. he was asked so I had said to Will like he's done it before I think he would do it again like with you yeah. guys because I know they do the whole tear tear right. thing so I was like that I think that would be that a good is, one that is a good one and they did it so damn so um, his answer you're probably too, right <laughs> what Travis uh, Travis's answers were the same as the no it was different oh, he, he didn't have he put Cruel Summer on this one uh, um, he, ta he talked about the entrance of Cruel Summer at the concert and I yeah. think that's why Cruel Summer was boosted yeah definitely I mean Cruel Summer is also an absolute mm -hmm. is also an absolute smash smash hit but he's i mean he's so sweet he he said like look like yeah we you want to keep things private but at the same time like i'm not i'm not like a shit like i'm not like not gonna talk about it like i'm she's still my girl she's my girl he said that's she's my, my lady. lady that's my lady listen that is how every guy should talk about their lady right. It's like right. be yeah, the public like, figures yeah, he's like i'm proud that's yeah. that's my lady and mm -hmm. like you should be proud you know that's a man confident in himself that's proud of a woman who is so successful beyond anybody's wildest dreams. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm fucking proud. And he exactly. should be. Exactly. And it was very sweet. He also talked about how, like, the first time she went to a game, he thought he was going to have to, like, set up the whole, like, get her in, like, secretly and, like, not have anybody. And she was like, no, like, I want to I wanna walk in with everybody. I want to experience the whole thing. I want to be with the friends and the family. Um, and he was like, that's, like, when I really started to, to like, know. I was like, damn, she's, like, a cool chick, the whole thing. So it was, it was really. So when, when he started, when he fell for her. Yes, when he <laughs> fell for her. He's a romantic, that Travis Kelsey. It was, it was very sweet. What's funny is seeing, like, the Swifties, bussin uh <laughs> conversation because they obviously don't know will compton we do so it's like will compton put karma on his list first of all he was it was very sweet he was like these are the songs like rue loves to mm -hmm. listen to and everything that rose his daughter and he was like karma is on the list like she loves karma and travis made a joke like well do you know who karma is and Will, Will, had, Will had no idea what he was talking about. Like, Will had no idea. And he was like, oh, uh, I don't, like, uh, what's the lyric? What's the lyric? And then, like, 
He goes, oh no, isn't that like, uh, isn't that like Gyllenhaal? <laughs> oh my God, yeah, I saw that. And I was like, I'm watching, I'm like, oh my God, I he can't did not he just bring that. up Jake Gyllenhaal on the, and like, he will so harmless that he has no idea what he's, harmless. Like, so he has no idea what he's even doing. Mm-hmm. And then like the producers, they pulled up like the headline, you know, Karma is the guy, the Chiefs, and they're all laughing and Travis is like, what? <laughs> he's like, and then, and then Will was like, Oh no! Oh 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 no! Isn't it like uh, Karma's uh, the guy on the screen? And Travis just goes, "It was." <laughs> it was so, just like such a good, yeah. such a good line. But it's so funny, like watching the clips and then seeing the headlines. Like the head, like Page Six had a headline that was like Travis Kelsey like throw shade at Joe Alwyn like with the it was it's like no he's not no, no he's not he he's not throwing shade at Joe Alwyn like, he's just like hey now it's yeah. me it was just a very funny clip of and like the tweets have been so funny of like the oh, Swifties yeah. being like I can't believe this guy <laughs> can't believe this guy said Joe Alwyn I know and if you watch the clip though and I'm sure they'll pick up on it that he's so harmless like oh, he's yeah, not completely. he's not like a, a a guy who's trying to like get something out of Travis yeah, you know, Kelsey, he's not trying like, to, like bring up an ex, no, to, like, no, mix things up. like not yeah. at all. Like I think he genuinely was just like he probably sees the all yeah. too wells about right. Jake. Jill. He's and probably he's, confusing and everything. His timeline's all messed up. All messed, <laughs> all mixed up. Um, but it was incredible, and I'm happy that they got that interview. I think that they're they're great guys to have that yeah. interview with because I think that they like, like you said, it's just like he's they're harmless yeah completely and they they're football guys they just want to talk football but at the same time they got to bring up exactly exactly and i think they did it in a great way it was very sweet like travis didn't go into too much detail about anything Mm -hmm. which is exactly like it's just the same thing like hey that's my girl i'm proud like um they had said oh you know she seems super down to earth and he was like yeah absolutely loves that she's super self-aware and like understands mm-hmm. what's going on and i think she's also which is what he's talked about before like she is still so like family oriented friend oriented and that's like, yeah. he really loves that and i think there's a difference between like private and like completely hiding your relationship like totally. private is like like zendaya and tom holland to me they have a private relationship but we still see them out yeah yeah, we'll, yeah. The, once in a while you catch them saying something about one or the other in an interview but it's very private right right and i think sometimes that's, they'll throw up an instagram story for right. support would you say that but, ryan gosling and uh eva are oh my like, god that's private. as private as it gets so like, like that's like almost like they are hiding their relationship they're not hiding their relationship they're they're, they just keep it yeah, private yeah they're not hiding they talk about each other yeah, yeah yeah you know and also she supports him online all the time too it's just yeah, like true. like they're not they don't walk carpets together they don't yeah do those he, he wore like, the e-necklace yeah, like yeah, i think yeah there's a i think there's a difference between that there's some and like like there's some couples that they don't you only see them in like grainy paparazzi photos mm-hmm. you know they're not walking the streets out together uh, taylor and joe alwyn you never saw never never i mean i mean josh allen and Haley steinfeld yeah, yeah, you don't see them. Like, like you they don't do share not, anything. They don't yeah. share a single yeah. thing. Right. They're only seen in paparazzi photos. Yeah. When they get when they get snapped. Like that's a that's a whole other level of private. Yeah. So I thought this was re- this was really nice and it's really just like oh, obviously only complimentary. It was it was really cute. <laughs> The episode came out Tuesday at 6 a.m. I don't know what went down, but the Taylor Swift fan accounts were getting the whole episode like Monday night. I was seeing um, like Gia was posting clips on Taylor Watch and I texted mm-hmm. her and was like, where are you getting these? The episode isn't out yet. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, what? It's not? Like all the Taylor <laughs> fan accounts have the clips. Like I just took it from them. Must must have been a slip up, slip up by Bussin. So I, Bussin yeah, must have right, slipped like, up. There must have been something where must maybe have accidentally posted. Like, the video was uploaded and the, the Swifties got onto it on YouTube and then they like quickly tried to make it private or mm-hmm. what happened. Uh, I mean, Will made a joke that the Swifties had, inter- <laughs> had somehow uh, compromised their cybersecurity system. <laughs> Which probably is not strong. No, it, it, on, right. So I don't know what happened All, there. The the cybersecurity system was the fact that maybe they just had theirs public. And it yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what happened there, but it was cracking me up seeing these clips on Monday night. I was like, oh my God, how did they get this already? Hey, not bad though. Everybody's watching. No, Everybody exactly, wants to watch. Exactly. Just a, a couple hours early doesn't harm anybody. I mean, the boys are thrilled, obviously. Well, I mean, screen, like I think I'm the number one Swifty now that, that with these with the way these numbies are going out. <laughs> of, of course, they they're very supportive. They'll support anything and yeah. and I think it was good that they talked about the the relationship in a respective way. It was. And he's just happy and proud and it yeah. just brings smiles to everybody's faces. You know faces. what? Will put um Will put sweet nothing. The Taylor Swift song on his on his 
tear as a second level be- from Midnight's because he would sing it to Rue. That's so sweet. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That's it's sweet. so good. Granted, I think he forgot the name of the song. He like texted his yeah. wife, but <laughs> he was like, That's probably so texting cute, his though. wife, like, what's the song I would right. sing? But, oh. So sweet. So cute. I so love cute. that. You love think Taylor that. watched the interview? E- Maybe not part, right away. The part, she was, the part she wasn't her. hacking the system yeah, Monday yeah. night with the rest of the Swifties. <laughs> yeah. But I would say maybe Travis showed yeah. his part talking yeah, about her. Yeah, yeah. And they're probably like, smiling, look at what you said about me. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Um, I mean, they're... She's she's tagging him in Instagram captions. Yeah. I they're, mean, the whole thing. You have to think about it. Like, they are a couple just like other couples where totally. like if, if you're you know significant other were to go on a show on the bus and we're good we're to go on a show and talk about you you'd want to see what they said absolutely so i i think i'm I'm sure that she saw it absolutely with sola you can plan your entire wedding in one convenient place from the day you get engaged and search for the venue to the day you send out your save the dates make your registry and even taste your cake zola has literally everything you need to make the whole process super easy and actually enjoyable There's even a five-star app that helps you plan on the go or on your couch. Zola helps couples plan the wedding they really want. With tons of unique features and personalized recommendations based on a couple's preferences, every Zola wedding is as unique as the couple planning it. Their wedding pros are on call to walk couples from question to answer anytime. The Zola app is super easy to use. If you are getting married, if you know somebody getting married, if you're going to a ton of weddings, you probably have an invite from Zola somewhere in your home, on your fridge, wherever it is, because everybody's using it. It's great. It's convenient. um, And it keeps you organized, everything in one place. So you can start planning at Zola.com. That's Z-O-L-A.com. Okay, update. Julie Chrisley from Chrisley Does Best, you know, the Todd Chrisley, Julie Chrisley. She had a seven-year prison sentence that has now been overturned. Yes, this is a big development for the Chrisleys. Um, and you know what? Probably it, it did seem like for the for the sake of small their small their their younger children. They're not like small, small, but their younger children. That's nice because that it's gotta be so tough, like both their parents away at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I think um The Chrisleys do not know best. The Chrisleys do no, not know best. Really My favorite don't. joke. <laughs> Savannah Chrisley? That sounds accurate. Right. I you know so. how I feel about the Chrisleys. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, it's, it's fair. It was the worst show ever. Um, but her seven-year prison sentence in Kentucky for tax evasion and bank fraud was overturned on June 21st after a three-judge panel of the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled the judge in the 2022 trial miscalculated Julie's sentence. Though the panel upheld Julie's, Todd's, and their accountant Peter's convictions, they found there was insufficient evidence to support the ruling that Julie was involved in the entirety of the bank fraud scheme as seen in court documents. Instead, the judges determined there was insufficient evidence to prove she was involved in the scheme, which began in 2006 before 2007. Um, it said the district court did not identify the evidence it relied on to hold Julie accountable for losses incurred before 2007, and we cannot independently find it in the record. So we vacate Julie's sentence and remain solely and remand solely for the district court to make the factual findings and calculations necessary to determine loss, restitution, and forfeiture as to Julie and to resentence her accordingly. So she is going to be resentenced. Her case is now being handed over to a lower court to determine how her sentencing will be adjusted. And Todd was sentenced to 12 years, which was reduced to 10 years in September. But that this has not affected that at all. So his is still mm-hmm. the 10-year the sentence. Um, but now Julie, her sentence will be changed. That's got to be a great feeling. Though. Yeah. Like when you get your sentence, when they say, oh, miscalculated right. can't you then sue for that like mis- miscalculating I know, it's your just sentence like, such a like crazy, there's got to be a whole other layer of that the and levels the of the when it comes to court famous people getting in trouble with the banks i just time and time again i say how do they do it don't you know you're gonna get caught 
Yeah. My biggest fear every year when I file my taxes is accidentally doing it wrong. Yeah, and, oh, and, 100%. And, and, and thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be locked up next week because they're going to find out that I accidentally did this wrong. Yep. You know? I know, it's, it's I agree. A, it's a fear that goes through your body. Like, oh my gosh, oh my God, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to be Teresa Judice. Totally. You know? Yeah, the IRS is going to knock down our door. Right. Um. So these people, I'm just like, you know, it, you can't really feel bad for them. You're like, you fucking knew that you'd get, you're doing something illegal. Yeah. You yep. know? Yep. And now Julie Chrisley, she's in luck. Hers is getting a little overturned. Yeah. But reduced. Still in trouble. Seemed, but she's yeah, still in trouble. Still, yeah, right. Still right, tisk right. tisk. Right. Right. And Todd, uh, twelve to ten ain't that big of a difference. If you yeah. went twelve to five, big right, difference. Yeah, twelve yeah, to ten, yeah. yeah. Not a big difference. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like that always like ends up being shorter too. If always right. feels good like behavior. Good be- yeah, yeah. If Todd yeah. if Todd is, you know, well mannered. Right. Which, who knows, you know, yeah. after watching that show. Yeah. Um, moving on, Britney Spears' lawyer is no wa- longer working with Britney, but I don't right. think there's any foul play. Yeah, the, the headline initially scared me, I will say. I was mm-hmm. like, uh-oh, because she's always talking about this guy, how great he is, and he comes through for her, you know? So when I saw the headline, Britney Spears' lawyer, Mar- Matthew Rosengart, no longer representing pop star after settling co- uh, conservatorship case, I was like, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. But upon further review... It appears that their goal was always to obviously end the conservatorship, set her up where she's okay, and then that would be like the end of it. So I don't really know if this is that much of a of a story, really, even if it's that much of a of a of a big deal. So he said, I told page six. Our goal together was always to suspend her father and restore her fundamental rights and civil liberties. And I will always be extremely proud of our work together. And that's the case. Um, And like the obvious, the conservatorship is over. They've done this. I think he also was very helpful in securing her book deal and all those things. Mm -hmm. Now it does make me a tad nervous because they it seemed like he was always there to help her right but at the end of the day like yes their time right now has come to an end but this could sound stupid but isn't it like with lawyers you just you just you just call them up when you need a lawyer (laughs) you know like they're not actively working on anything together right but But like if she needs a lawyer she could call him yeah i just think when it comes to that level of fame you always have a lawyer Right, you but know, if you're not like you're not like paying the lawyer if he's not doing any work for you. But I feel like lawyers do other work than what we like think that they do. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, what? I don't know. Like uh, I'm just thinking you got me stuck law here. Law things. Yeah, I <laughs> I think but I'm sure like in my eyes Britney Spears always has something going on with the law. Yeah, I guess. Or that's like true. when you're that level of fame, I feel like you're always involved with the law somehow. You got, you know, reading over contracts and such. Yeah, like but I just feel like she's and not. There's properties. And... Right, 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 right. Yeah. But you could be right. Yeah. You, you could be right in that case where it's like right now, Brittany doesn't need a lawyer. Right. But I don't know I don't, then yeah. why, it would, why it would be a headline. Right, right. Like if it's even, that's what I'm saying. Like, is this even really news at all? So. Yeah, but at this point, it doesn't seem like there was anything bad right. that led to and this. And she also, like, her divorce was settled. Yeah. So that was another thing, because it said, more recently, Rosengart worked closely with another high-powered attorney, Laura Wasser, to settle Britney's divorce. So like, they got that done. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't know. Like, is it, or is it a bigger deal? And they're trying to make it, he's trying to make it not a big deal. Like, is he like, oh, God, I'm done working with Britney, but. We're just going to say it's like, it's all good. That could totally be the case. He might just be like, listen, I need to wipe my hands clean of Britney right, Spears. Right. And, but, you know, she doesn't have anything right now that is, you know, mm-hmm. pressing. So I'm going to remove myself in this very moment. Mm-hmm. That could be it, for mm-hmm. sure. Last topic. Very possible. Last topic. NHL with a messy, messy post for the Stanley Cup final. Yep. Panthers versus Oilers. We had all the Bachelor alum. Most importantly, we had Jason and new girlfriend Kat Sickler and also Caitlin Brisso and Zach Clark. Now, Kat and Jason posing together. First slide of the post, rooting for the Panthers. A little on in the post is Caitlin. Zach is seen right next to her in the background. 
She's rooting for the Oilers. The fact that, like, you know, I saw this and was like, oh, messy. The room for other teams, opposite sides of the fence here. And my immediate thought went to, oh, my God, Caitlin's still with Zach. Then why was she so upset on her Instagram stories about Jason and Kat together? You know, like my, like my, that's where my immediate thought went to. Like, she's still with Zach. I thought maybe her and Zach yeah. had had split and they weren't still seeing each other and, and maybe she was, you know, regretting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. My mind was, you know, all over the place with that with Caitlin Bristow. What could possibly have happened? Why was she so upset? Right. But then I see Zach is standing right next to her and they're clearly still together. So I didn't understand the public display yeah. of like. Right. The public display is interesting because that's always like you're always like, ooh, because I don't. I I sometimes don't feel like you can look. You can move on with an ex. I mean, you can move on and like get into a new relationship, and really still not like your ex. You know? Yeah, but I but I just felt it's like just pub- the public yeah, display yeah, no. of like, you know, that day. I feel you know like text your friends. Well, <laughs> well, we love Caitlyn. Caitlyn has that issue. I think like I think yeah. she gets a little, uh, like trigger fingers when it comes to like posting shit online yeah that is true and um, i feel like she like regrets it pretty instantly because yeah. then they get deleted right and then um the- right right so but the, honestly this nhl post was who gets the final rose tonight the first picture was jason and cat then it went to pile of pete then it went to caitlin who and it's interesting i feel like and then it went to tyler cameron and justin thomas who really wasn't getting any mm-hmm. credit it was like who gets it was like oh sorry justin thomas who was like <laughs> yeah. in this picture with tyler cameron mm-hmm. um but i don't know i could also see like them going in different directions here right like caitlin is has been way more private when it comes to seeing zach Jason and Kat are are brand deals galore already. Yeah, I mean the so, brand deals all, already is like, all right, right. all right, let's Well, take they have a been beat. together for a while already. They have know? been, but imme- like, the immediate pub public Yeah. like immediate posting of like we're public to the next week an ad. I was like, whoa, whoa. This I know. you know, of course they've been together uh, you know, longer than we know. Um and This is clearly the path that they wanted to go but down. But it was just like Oh my God! You just announced your relationship last week, and yeah, now we're yeah. doing brand deals every other day. Yeah, um, which I I think is like whoa whoa, you know. But that's that's their game. That's they're in the content game, and they seem to be very yeah. happy with each other, which I think does, is great. It um, does feel like Jason very much wants to. I mean, look, he he has a whole podcast about about money and finances mm-hmm. and all those things, like. I'm sure at this point he sees what other he talks to other people he talks to other influencers he sees what kind of money people are making and he's like I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and, and I think that's totally f- I, I yeah, mean get yeah, your yeah. bag Jason yeah. like I'm not talking yeah. about that aspect like get your brand deals get your money do your thing Jason I just meant that it was literally like four days after mm-hmm. they had posted their relationship they were at Pizza Hut doing a brand deal <laughs> like it just was a, it just was a quick turnaround 100 um, percent I mean, it was all, but, pl- all planned but you obviously. know what if they if people reach out to them immediately you're not gonna turn that money down you know if they're happy and they're secure in their relationship and they get offered a brand deal how can you turn it down you know they're why not this summer we are so excited to be wearing the new women's line from roback it's so cute so comfortable and we are just obsessed between their active dresses shorts and full zip up hoodies we always wear them on a walk out for the day whatever it is running errands it's so comfortable so let us tell you about the new roback active shorts they are ultra lightweight they include a liner for extra comfort and they are so cute you can wear them out and about running errands like i said playing games maybe we're going to play some pickleball it's the summer you're going for a run you're in new york city you're running on the west side highway or just you know out and about spending your day the rowback active skirts and dresses are perfect for the spring and summer the material is so comfortable and the features are very functional the built-in shorts liner has hidden pockets that can fit your phone and also the dress has their brand new gtg technology so you can keep the dress on when you're on the go and got to go rowback also released full zip hoodies and new workout tanks so it's safe to say we will be living in Roback this season. So use the code CHICKS on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first order of performance skorts, joggers, and hoodies. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 
That's 20% off with the code CHICKS at Roback.com. On the other side of that, there were headlines last week about um, what Caitlin Bristow said about Jason starting a podcast and, and, and everything that happened there. And I just feel like when she said that publicly, it went in the opposite direction of what she maybe thought was going to happen. Yeah. Um, because it did not look great. Yes. Yeah, so once again, it's another case of sometimes you just keep it to yourself, you know? Yeah. It and, just and- was like, um, because Jason had lost his job. Yeah. Um at the bank, you know, like because yeah. Caitlin talked about how she when she started dating Jason, she loved that he had another job. But then Jason lost that job. So if I'm Jason, because it's of like what Caitlin was saying about uh, their relationship right on a podcast. Yeah. So it's like if I'm Jason, I'm like, you know what? Then I now have to lean into this influencer world and maybe I should make a podcast. And why not? You know, if I'm Jason, yeah. I lose my job. And he lost his, and then he tries to get another job. And what did the job ask? Oh, I lost my job because of this, because of what my girlfriend's on the pot. Like, it just, it spirals. Like, it probably would be tough for him to get another one. So, can't blame Jason at all for finding a new path and making money. Like, he has to do his thing. You know, he he has to have a job somehow. Um, So, I thought that was not great. I thought that was not great. Yeah, and I guess at the end of the day, right, like, Caitlin wanted a relationship with somebody who was not in that Mm -hmm. field. Um, and that changed, but it's, it's tough when you're the one in it Yeah, and you're like, oh, you can't do this. Right. Cause I, and it felt like you can't do this cause I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, not like I have a podcast. Not like, you can't have right, a podcast. Not like I don't want to be with an influencer cause that's like, I don't want to be with an influencer. Right. The way it's that like, it was worded was like, well, podcasting is my thing. Right. Like I, it's like seeing like, I thought I found like what I'm really good at and all those things, which is, which is interesting. Cause it made me feel like sh- maybe she took that as competition, mm-hmm. which is sad. Cause I, I don't think he meant it that way. Yeah, I don't think it's competition. I don't think it's like, right. So it's um, almost like, like yeah. it just is a, is, is a sad way to look at something like that, to see your significant other friend, anything like that as like a competition. Like yeah. there we've seen, there's so much space and room for literally everybody to create their own path in this industry that it feels upsetting that she would, try to stray her own boyfriend or fiance at the time away from that when he lost his job right. you know so and and like you said we love caitlin and, yeah. and and caitlin has been a good friend um but these when it comes to the relationship stuff and the public display not not amazing right i know I, that it, it didn't make me it, it just makes you scratch your head a little bit because mm-hmm. you're like oh really is like is that is that how this all went down right because then you're just like oh i i don't know i it i don't know i i i get it and it also is tough because clearly she had that idea of i don't want that kind of relationship and then it changed and i think she felt like he was picking the money and the opportunities but he, over her. He needs a job. But no, believe me, I, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Like, but it's it's tough because it's like that is it's very lucrative, and he's good at it. And he lost. And he it. lost his yeah. job. He yeah. was working right. a normal job, but lost his job because right, of right, right. a podcast. So, just, so that's that's where no, I the, I, the, I, I get it. I, mean? I get it. I get it. I'm just you know trying to trying to see both sides a little, but it's it's tough for sure. But it does make a lot more sense on why Caitlyn would want to date somebody like Zach. Because yeah. Zach is totally in the world. Like, he is in the Bachelor world for mm-hmm. sure. He was on the show, the whole thing, whatever. But he is not, like... Uh, he has his business that he mm-hmm. is extremely proud of. And he has used his platform to elevate his business. Yeah. Um, and that's, like, still his number one priority. Yeah. So if he can do things that, that can... That, like, if he can use his status to help those things he will but he's not out here like being a a full-time influencer podcaster right like they're they're not doing brand deals together and whatnot yeah um i just hope that they both find their happiness i i think they're both nice people and i think that 
Um, I hope Caitlin finds her happiness and I hope Jason and Kat continue to be happy because they look like they're a very happy, fun couple. Right, right. So No, I know exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, clearly it wasn't, that just wasn't going to work out. They wanted different things. Yeah, like, like it's know? just another case of like, when we talked, I mean, <laughs> Carl and Lindsay were on a, a whole other level of, yeah. of, you know, not being compatible. But this is another case of like, they want different things. They're not yeah. compatible in that space. They're not going to agree. So just yep. better off that they ended that yep. and can now be with people that are suited for them. Exactly. Um, but now, it certainly makes a lot more sense in the directions of their next relationships <laughs> that they would. <laughs> right. <laughs> like hearing that story, like hearing Kaylin tell that story, it's like, well, certainly checks out what they're doing in their new relationships. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but messy post by the NHL. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not sure they knew what they were doing with that, or maybe I don't they know did. If they did. I I don't know if they did, or if they did, that it was on purpose. Right. Um, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. I sent it to our cutting stems group chat, and I was like, yeah. I don't know if anybody else is interested in this, but look at this NHL. And it post. was also <laughs> the way it revealed that Zach was there because yeah. we would not have known that exactly they, because they, Zach is like in the picture, but Caitlin didn't like post which, Zach there right, with her. which is why I thought that they weren't even like together anymore. Yeah. Um, so I was shocked to see that, and you know what? Happy for them that yeah. it's, that they're yep. they're still together yep. as well. Um, and that wraps up the topics for today's show. That wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We hope you have a fantastic rest of the week, and we will talk to you on Friday.